what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we know today halloween kills had its world premiere out at venice jamie lee curtis got that award for her status in the filmmaking industry and everything she's done over the last who knows how long as it relates to her career and a lot of people are pretty upset or just bothered by these mixed reviews that are coming out it says here that it's currently sitting at a 50 percent out of eight reviews i'm sure that's grown at, by the time i'm done with this recording i'm sure that's grown probably like 12 or even higher and the 50 percent has turned into something higher as well well, here's one of the reviews from Discussing Film. It says, Halloween Kills is a blood-filled rollercoaster of a film with some of the most gnarly kills the slasher franchise has ever created. And then they have a link, of course, to the their full review down below. Now, that's one of the more positive things that have come out as a response to the screenings happening at this festival. Another one from Variety, Halloween Kills review. It will feed your nostalgia for mediocre slasher sequels. One of the more not so friendly uh, reviews as it pertains to, again, these screenings that are happening in Venice. All of these screenings, not just the world premiere, they've got several different ones. Some to the public, others private, just for press. Another one from The Hollywood Reporter. David Gordon Green has made exactly the kind of witless, worthless sequel that bled, that led, bled the franchise dry in the 1980s and 90s. <laughs> Another one of the more not so favorable uh, reviews and here we have another one coming up halloween kills michael myers most brutal killing spree yet one in particular had me squirming in my seat a further exploration exploration of trauma and thirst for revenge boiling under the surface what surprised me the most was the post-credit tease for something after ends don't know how true that is if there's actually a post-credit scene after halloween kills then i guess we'll find out by just staying and waiting for after the credits another one here comes from the rap Michael Myers lives to kill yet again in effective sequel. Another one of the more favorable reviews coming out about this film as it pertains to the screenings happening out in Venice right now. And again, just as you see, I'm kind of all over the place. I, I wanted to just pick random ones to kind of show you how mixed they are. So another one, Halloween Kills, is a sharp sequel that proves Michael Myers still has some more scares up his sleeve. Another more of the one familiar ones from Slash Film. Uh just yeah these reviews they're they're up and down up and down in the middle mixed negative positive they're they're all over the place at this point another one here halloween kills is a darker meaner more disturbing entry in the franchise the kills are absolutely brutal and shocking in the best way it was great seeing old characters again and there's a flashback that blew my mind sadly this is 100 percent half a film and it ends abruptly as you see there they didn't finish that to kind of hone in the point they were trying to get across it ends abruptly as expected since we know halloween ends is supposed to be the end of chapter of the trilogy the last one here on our screen here today halloween kills is a devilishly fun gory and gruesome and soaked in bloodshed the people of haddonfield have been rocked and so will viewers full of callbacks and easter eggs this is a horror delight for fans and audiences alike so that's all i really have to show for the reviews i'm sure there are plenty of others that you guys will bring up down in the comment section or just other ones that you've seen online if you're on twitter if you're on instagram if you're on facebook or if you're just someone surfing through rotten tomatoes for whatever reason how do i feel about this i don't care one way or another and when i say it, i'm not saying that i don't care about critic reviews i do uh I do like to hear what people think about a movie. I do like to see what they're saying worked for a film for them and what they say didn't work for a film with them. But what I'm seeing a lot of is people honing in on these reviews rather than to kind of reading them and trying to understand where a person is coming from. Because by reading these reviews, some of the ones have spoilers in them. So I get it. I can get if you don't want to read a lot of them. But by reading a lot of these, you can kind of dissect for yourself who here was a horror fan and who here kind of was just not someone this was going to please to begin with because you're not a fan of this genre and now you're just coming down on it you're familiar with the genre and you're familiar with this franchise because you are familiar with john carpenter's 1970 classic film but you're not someone who's in love with the slasher genre so then you're here kind of just putting a damper on a movie that a lot of people are looking forward to etc etc you know i get it but at the same time i do like to look at these things and see what people are saying when it pertains to what they're saying worked what didn't work one thing i'm noticing to be the common thing might just be lack of character development which is not shocking since we have all of these returning characters one thing that i didn't really get was the standout comment about jamie lee curtis taking a back seat we already knew that and when i say we i mean the collective few of us who are diehard Halloween fans, diehard horror fans, those of us staying in the know about what's going on with this franchise and what was the plan to begin with, we had a, a understanding of that. We knew Jamie Lee Curtis would be taking a back seat. Maybe she's taking too much of a back seat, and maybe I'll agree with that sentiment after seeing the film, but I just don't understand that fully 
just yet because I haven't seen the movie. I'm noticing a lot of things in these reviews that don't really make a lot of sense. Uh, being too gory, being too... Well, I won't say being too gory, but saying it has too many too many kills or even saying, yes, it has too much gore. I mean, the title of itself is kind of its selling point. <laughs> and it, the trailer itself also is showing you what you will be getting. But maybe, again, it's all just coming down to the execution. Because, again, there are plenty of good movies that have bad trailers, plenty of bad movies that have excellent trailers. But for us Halloween fans and just for people who watch my channel in general, keep in mind, we still have a movie named Jeepers Creepers are born <laughs> to look forward to which may or may not be uh, a letdown there's no way that this movie is worse than Jeepers Creepers are born there's there's just no way there's no way Jeepers Creepers are born will be better than Halloween kills there's no way that'll be better than Scream 5 there's no way it'll be better than most of these movies that I see people complaining about already or just having naysays about Malignant being one of them I know that's kind of up and down in and of itself getting mixed to positive reviews from what I'm seeing uh but this stuff from halloween kills out of the festival i wouldn't be too concerned about this go and watch the movie judge it for yourself of course when you watch my spoiler free review do not listen to my words and then just say that don't take i don't want anyone who listens to me to take my words as just like this un, undeniable gospel that you can't have something that's different from me in, in your thought process as long as you're being respectful towards me and you enjoy what i have to say about a product my thoughts on the product might not be your thoughts just like with these people and keep in mind have these people seen halloween 5 when's the last time they seen halloween 5 which we know is one of the worst entries when's the last time they seen halloween resurrection because if you read some of these reviews they are being a little harsh on this movie that's just my honest opinion on what i've read so far they are being a little harsh i don't really get get it and you just have to keep in mind how many halloween movies have you actually seen because a lot of these other entries they're not as bad as the way you are making this one sound halloween kills for all it for all that i will assume will have some problems with the development of its characters might have some issues as far as it not being overly scary it might just be more action-packed which is fine to me but you know i'll have my thoughts on this channel at some point let me know what you guys think about these reviews down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you, make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video